Welcome to Good Friday at Brock United Methodist Church. This is a solemn worship service, and today as we come to you uh, via uh, social media platforms, Facebook and YouTube, it is a different time for us. But that doesn't mean we can't reflect on the death of Jesus Christ tonight and have a time of worship together even if we are apart. As we begin our time of worship today, let us receive these words for our call to worship. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Let's join together in our opening prayer. Almighty God, your Son, Jesus Christ, was lifted high upon the cross so that he might draw the whole world to himself. Grant that we who glory in this death for our salvation may also glory in his call to, make, to take upon our cross and follow him. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We welcome Matt Heisterman as he brings us Revelation Song. Good evening, everybody, and happy Good Friday. This song is Revelation. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Holy, holy is He. Sing a new song to Him who sits on Heaven's mercy to see. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain, holy, holy is He. Sing a new song to Him who sings song, Heaven's mercy to see. Mention of your name. 
Jesus, your name is power, breath in the living water, such a marvelous mystery, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Matt, for your song. We now turn to God's holy word as we look at the epistle to the Hebrews in chapter 10. Let us join together as we read. This is the covenant I will make with them. After that time, says the Lord, I will put my laws in their hearts and I will write them on their minds. Then he adds, their sins and lawless acts I will remember no more. And where these sins have been forgiven, sacrifice for sin is no longer necessary. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way opened for us through the curtain that is his body, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from the guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds. Let us not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another all the more as you see the day approaching. If we deliberately keep on sinning after we have received the knowledge of truth, no sacrifice for sins is left, but only a fearful expectation of judgment and a raging fire that will consume the enemies of God. We now welcome another song from Katerina and Justin, and Jesus paid it all. Thank you. 
Thank you, Katerina and Justin, for your song. We now turn to our prayer of confession this evening as we confess our sins before God and Jesus Christ. Let us join together in this prayer of confession. Holy Savior, my betrayal set Judas against you. My denial stabbed Peter's words into your heart. And my lies concealed your innocence. Because of my sinful thoughts, Thorns pierced your scalp. Because I have lived according to the flesh, the flogger's cords tore into your muscles. The cross of my judgment was laid on you to carry. My refusal to believe and accept you hammered nails into your hands. My greed divided your clothing and gambled for your robe. My insults and mocking ways filled the mouths that taunted you. My sin tore you from God and drained your life drop by precious drop. The spear that thrust into your side aimed at ending my wickedness forever. You died my death and my sin sealed your tomb. With one great act of love, you gathered all my shame and guilt and buried it in the depths of hell. Crucified and risen Savior, I stand before you naked and new. I died in you, and now I pray you will live in me. Amen. As we are experiencing Good Friday this evening, we are going to participate in the Stations of the Cross. The following is a slideshow that has been made featuring some of the artists from our church uh, singing various songs and also some art from Father Bill McNicholson. And we are so grateful for the art and the music that will be a part of this slideshow this evening. May you be blessed by these Stations of the Cross. Sometimes it 
Now that we have participated in the Stations of the Cross, let us receive these words for our benediction today. Eternal God, rock and refuge, with roots grown old in the earth, riverbeds run dry, and flowers withered in the field, we wait for revival and release. Abide with us until we come alive in the sunrise of your glory, Amen. We depart tonight on this Good Friday, and we welcome you again on Sunday for our Easter sunrise service at 7 o'clock and our other Easter service at 9 o'clock a.m. May you go in peace.